Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Batten Kaitas Eternal Wings in the Lost Ocean. What do you say we start off this video with a bunch of talking? That's what we're all here for. So you came. Saved our hides. We can't just walk away. Thank you again for saving us back there. Don't mention it. It's no big deal. Who are you anyway? Why did you help us? Do you seriously intend to face Gildoblame? Yeah. We'll do what we can to thwart their plans. Sounds like you have a death wish. We're not going down that easy, no matter who we're up against. Hmm. Could be worse, I guess. Let's go. Huh? Hey! Where are you... we... going? The Celestial Tree. To see it bloom. What? Why? To get the End Magnus. That's what we're here for, isn't it? Uh, hey! Wait! Wait up! You haven't even told us your name. My name? It's... Savina. Follow me. Who is she, anyway? Kinda weird, isn't she? Hmm... Let's follow her. We've got nothing to lose. Yay! We like having new party members. Seems like we get one everywhere we go now, doesn't it? Oh god, it's loud. Get me out of here. Do not want. Okay. Savina. Pretty, pretty wimpy compared to everybody else. Attack is worse than calluses. Has the worst defense. Only 57 agility, which is slightly better than callus. And the second worst vitality. <clears throat> Here's the thing. I really like Savina. I think she's a good character. Rubber beret. Ooh. That, that. I think my Z buttons. There we go. Easily worn, never damages the hair. And keeps it in place. Spray enables where to concentrate on the battle at hand. But what if I don't want that? What if I want this one? Fashionable design that sports feathers from a migratory bird provides the wearer with insight into workings of the atmosphere, increasing her agility. I mean, just, just better overall. So, Savina uses fistses. Gloves, etc. Kind of a. It's, it's, it's weird. Right? Like, her. Her place in the party is a little odd right now because she doesn't really do anything stand out ish. Um. 
She does have fire attacks, which Gibari doesn't get a lot of. We have Aqua Yell, which, I mean, I guess is fine. She's got some Aqua attacks, but I have no water weapons right now, so that's kind of dumb. But I really like using her as a character. Um, I think she's uh, fun to play with. So we'll start off by giving you that. And let's put her in the party for Lewd. Uh, what do we got to deal with here? Yeah. Lewd would actually be okay for uh, the upcoming section. But we will just take Callus because Callus can pretty much handle all the same. Swap out Gibari for Shella because Shella will be more useful. And for Shella here, we are going to remove all of that. All of that. Fire, and we want dark. And time and wind don't really matter. And we'll also throw in hell that. That'll work. So, if you notice, Savina now does not have full health. I think that's because of the equipment we gave her. Alright. To the tree! Look at it, it's huge. So this is the celestial tree. What a breathtaking sight! This is a huge colony, made up of countless trees growing in symbiosis. I've never seen a colony of this size and vitality. Most colonies would have decayed from the inside, turning into hollow vestiges. The spring in Sadal sued. The cave in Diadem. Here, in Anua Nua, it's the trees. Water, air, wood. What's on your mind, Shella? Oh, it's nothing. Is it really here? Is the third end Magnus around here somewhere? Hey, hold on, Savina. Where do you think you're going? This area is off limits. Strangers aren't allowed to set foot here. Turn back immediately. So you're one of the keepers, huh? Of course. Please don't make things difficult. Maybe has caused enough trouble already. Maybe? What's wrong? 
She seems to have gone up the tree on her own. Her grandmother fell sick all of a sudden. Tree vermin have really been worked up lately, which means it's extra dangerous. Climbing the tree without permission is strictly forbidden, even for experienced keepers. She must have gone looking for buds from the celestial tree. No! Wait, Sabina. You can't go. Sorry, lady. We're in a bit of a hurry here. I'm sorry. Please excuse us. Don't worry. We'll find Mayfi for you and bring her back safe and sound. No! Wait! All of you! Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay. Um, I forget which one I'm going to start with. I think we'll skip that for a minute because I think there might be stuff. Boom. There we go. Says that's it, so all right, we have a constellation alert. Um, blood leaves. I know, that didn't do what it wanted, but it's fine. Which I think are the flappy bat thingies. Have a Magnus we want. And poison right off the bat. Thanks, you jerk. Sabina has peacock feathers. You can run if you want to. Quit blocking everything, you jerk, and just die. That's what she hit full on with. If y'all could stop picking on Sabina for just a second, that'd be great. I got it worked. I do want to get a picture Here. of everything. Is that all? <gasps> oh. 
poison again. <sighs> Is that all? And the sound waves poison you. my camera again come on man can poison you too, jerk! Of course. Here's the problem with Savina's weapons, though. Some of everybody else's weapons... I guess except for Liud. Like some of Kallus' weapons can defend, some of Gabari's weapons can defend. None of Sabina's can, as far as I can recall. Picture! Fire. Fire. Talk at it! Make it explode! Bloodleaf and a heat paddle. Well, we want that. A uh, vampiric creature found in Anue Anue's largest colonial trees. Its narrow wings are unfit for flying. Seemed to do a fine job to me. Wraps its tail around branches to rest. Did not give me the constellation, though. So We will, of course, be grinding from them to get the constellation. A wild cherry bud. What does that do? Uh, minimize that. Uh, Sabina's class up already. Found in the mountains, these buds silently bear the coldness, waiting for their chance to bloom. Can't go. Can't go. That's a dead end. You did a great job of keeping us out, lady. Just want you to know that. It's like a thing. It's kind of a thing, but it's not really a thing at all. This just might be fun.
say cheeseburger. God damn it. Everybody's poisoned. Still didn't get our Magnus. Did get a picture of this guy, though. There she is! Yeah, just a second. For Christ's sake. I don't remember getting poisoned this much when I first played the game. been a thing this time for oh sure all right come here still no uh constellation um actually i think we want this one first let's clear out these guys and see if we get our thing yet this will be exciting. Okay, we got our constellation. Ursa Major. And we got another picture. Something else these guys drop is a butterfly beret. Engraved to resemble a swallowtail butterfly. Provides greatly increased resistance to paralysis, but also poison, which is good. And if we compare it to 
Feather has extra attack, almost or more than double the defense, more agility. HP doesn't get the boost, but we get poison. So we're taking that for sure. So we got what we need. Let's go rescue Mayfi. Climbing quickly, quickly climbing, climbing up the tree. Hello! This is a short area, but this is long. We're 45 minutes in. Okay, let's go down, try and avoid that guy. I ain't gonna be able to avoid that guy. We're going to um, save Mayfi. Then we're going to leave. We're going to go and raise Savina's class. We'll do any level ups we can do. And then we'll come back. The enemy is extremely dangerous. Stay alert. You did.
use this. You all right, Mayfi? Yes. Thanks for coming for me, Savina. What were you thinking coming up here all alone? Being a keeper, you should know how dangerous this place is. <sighs> I'm sorry. Grandma got real sick, so I had to do something. I came up here to find a celestial flower bed to make it bloom somehow. I couldn't get too far on my own, though. Savina, I wish I was strong and brave like you. Don't be silly. Strong and brave like me? You've got quite an imagination. I'm not really, so don't make too much of me. You need to believe in yourself, Mayfi and live your life in your own way. <sighs> so what's next? Is she going with us? Of course. We can't leave her alone here. Besides, when we get to the top, we'll be needing Mayfi's help. She's a keeper, you know. Will you help us, Mayfi? Sure. Thank you, Savina. These battles. That's what's taking so long. They're long battles, man. No poison, though. Right? That's a, that's a, hasn't happened in a minute. Of course, now I said it. It's going to happen every chance it can possibly happen between now and then. Um, I'm going to cut. We're going to run down to the bottom of the tree. Go find us a blue flower, and then we'll come back. And I'll meet you guys right up here at the red flower. How's that sound? Pretty good? I think so. So while we're here, um, we do have some constellations to turn in, so we'll on-screen that. You know, figured. We're already here, man. Now, here's the bummer we're gonna run into about raising Savina's class. We don't have a lot of cards for her, so that extra 10 she's gonna need, probably gonna be mostly armor and healing stuff. Probably. In fact, let's just look at that real quick. So we're in a water. We're on a dark. Um picked up some of these pickled plums while we were going up the tree. Under chance to cure poison, that'll be alright. Some green plums, which cause poison, 100 percent chance. Harmful to eat, but pickling removes toxins. And we picked up a shrimp. A shrimp, fresh and tasty, ruby of the sea. So I think we're gonna give that to Callus and replace one of his honeys, because honey was great, but uh, it's only healing eighty. We need more healing than that right now. All right, he needs seven more pieces. Um, eh. our, our fire aura has leveled up to level two. Take voice two. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, sweet wine's fine. A 
We don't need any of that. Did grab a picture of Savina. There's the blood leaf. There's the devil claws. See, that's with the new camera. It's just a much better picture. These aren't going <laughs> to develop any more than that. Five more cards. All right, five more. What can we do? One, two, uh, three, four. Five. Now watch, we get some stuff from this guy that's gonna be better than what I just did. You just watch. Earth's the major. He's the bear. It's upside down. The crater, that one's just a hole. That ain't even creative. A corn horn and fruity gelatin. Oh boy. I love it when we get things we can buy. Twenty percent chance of sleep. Unicorn horns are often carved with a knife into some other pattern or shape. This baby is a work of art. Now, sleep ain't gonna do us a damn bit of good with what we're dealing with, so uh, we're gonna go back up the tree. I will meet you guys at the red flower. <laughs> it's so loud. <coughs> How could you live here with all this noise? I don't even like visiting. Okay, we're back. I paused there because I didn't want to deal with that guy. We do need to save though, so we might have to. I just didn't want to. Gold beetle carapace. Yeah, we may as well. Sounds kind of important. I think I actually remember what it's for, and it's very important. Like parrying in Metal Gear Rising. Now, if you could just ever so uh, kindly just levitate your way on over there. In any time. There you go. He's a trooper, that guy. See, I wanted to avoid him because we got to deal with him. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to make a swap. Bloop. And here is why. Because Liud can do more dark damage. And we want that. Right now, I want lots of that. He's got some healing, he's got some defense, he's got a camera, get rid of that, add one of those. Same thing with Shella, we want to make sure she's got a lot of fire and dark. And wind or time, but not wind and time. And same with Callus. I did pick up this fire sword from some of the enemies here, so that's good. Uh, we will swap out one of those. Okay. 
I know, what about Savina? Trust me. Trust me. Have I ever led you astray? You better say no, damn it. You need to get in, right, Savina? Right. It's very important, Mayfi. Can you remove the seal? Uh-huh. I'm a keeper, remember? Just watch. Did you guys know that Mayfi was a keeper? I don't think they've ever mentioned that. do it please be careful okay you're going into the tree's core there's no telling what could happen I know come on guys Ooh, tree party Ooh. Is this it? It must be. This is the heart of the celestial tree where its flowers bloom. An old woman once told me of this. She also spoke of a dreadful power lying dormant within the tree. What she didn't tell me was how one could release that power from its slumber. But I'm sure you know what to do. Celestial tree talking? No, it's not. It's the voice of a guardian which resides in this tree. The guardian of the third and Magnus. Mayfi! Damn! Here it comes! Alright, now I'm no great fan of children, but that was uncalled for. Alright, step one. This is the Tree Guardian and its tentacles. There are two targets. We need to get pictures of both of them. Isn't that nice? The uh, tentacles, easy enough. I think they got like 500 hit points a piece. Uh, weak to fire, very weak to fire. Kind of weak to dark. That's why we have the setup we have. The uh, core can revive the tentacles. Uh, they will come back with half health. So it's not totally a big deal. Oh, that that helps. That helps a lot. Thanks, game. Uh, core has twenty seven hundred hit points. Tentacles of about five hundred, like we mentioned. Very weak to fire. Kind of weak to dark. No difference uh, for wind or time. Dark wind 
And you don't have to get a picture of each tentacle, just one is fine. Stop, stop putting me to sleep. I don't like it. See, now you're gonna get lasers because you decided to take a nap. Got five hit combo. Okay, that kind of hurt a little bit. Uh, let's heal. Let me get that out of here. Uh, there we go. He got you. I don't know if you heard. I think we also put the tentacle to sleep for a second there. You guys want to see a real cool fire attack? Here it comes. Oh, and his camera showed up. Perfect. Mighty sword, burn with rage and destroy the enemy. Sword style. Blast, Wasn't that cool? I mean, we we killed it. That would have one hit killed the thing. <coughs> okay. Uh, that was just, uh, you know, whale, whale on the middle. He's not doing time damage anyway, so it don't matter. Sparkling water. It looks like electricity. See, I've always said sparkling water tastes like TV static. And picture. Perfect. So you get an extra 20% damage with dark, you get an extra 80 with fire on the uh, on the tentacles anyway. On the core, it's a little less. I think it's uh, 20 and 50. But on the, um, yeah. But on the tentacles, it's 30 and 80. So, I mean, you could really just go to town here. Five. Four. And four. Didn't have the finisher with the five, or we could have gotten all fives. Sword style. Shadow. This also seems like a bad idea, doesn't it? Like, aren't we killing the tree by doing this? Get that out of here. Get that out of here. Go ahead. We may need to heal. Now yeah, we're fine for a minute. Uh, six, five, Fire four, Fire three, and we'll stop there. A brisk walk is more challenging than this. Boom. 45 and a 6% on top of that. Shella, have some curry. Thought I'd give her the wine too. I was too late. We was too late. Let's do six six. A two. A two. And a six. Not too shabby. Nothing. Oh, I guess. Oh. What was that? Uh, eight. Eight. Seven. Seven. And we'll stop. Uh, 
Uh, let's heal again. You only have one weapon, so... <clears throat> That's not much better, Liud. We could have brought Savina for the extra fire. Um, that would not have been a problem, but... That leaves just a little stronger. Here you go. At this point, so... I'll spoil it a little bit. Savina never really gets super strong, but she's fast. Like her agility ends up being like really high later on, so. Look at that. Six, 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 and another six. And if we want to increase his defense, we could get another six in there. Let's do it. Why not? Ain't gonna matter. I was kind of hoping we'd get Liu's other finisher, but doesn't look like it. Yeah. Oh no, we raised his defense. What are we going to do? been an over another over an hour video. I'm at an hour 15 right now. Yeah, sure. Why not? We're going to have to shuffle anyway. Man, that just hurts, man. Now I think we all have to shuffle, pretty much. Well, let's heal Callus. There it is! Get that out of here. It didn't help, Leud. it with a voice. Uh, you can't do like, you can't do one, two, three, two, one. That doesn't count. Which I think is dumb. That should count. One, two, six, six, I guess. And a one. Gotta be getting close. He doesn't have that much health left. Oh, good. We might get to see Fort Zondo after all. Up, Callus. You did. Hope this helps now. Take this. That's a two, so let's take three, three, two, two. Or two, I guess. You won't live to see the light of day. Extreme attack for Donzo. I think that's what you're supposed to do with guns, buddy. But you did 500 friggin' damage. There we go. Behold the mercy of Malpertio.
Wow! Are these the celestial flowers? They look like shooting stars! Okay, we got Freezing Axe, a finisher for Savina, and Dancing Flames, a finisher for Shella. So, I don't remember, I think just taking the picture counts as you having it. Um, Tentacle the Tree Garden Watch every, eh, very skillful and slithery. Yeah, that's all for him. We can't take both. I wish we could, but we can't. These we have to take. These, you know, there's no, there's no swap in them. So let's take the Guardian. I feel like that's going to get us more cash. Speaking of cash, we need to look at that because I sold pictures. Ooh, man. It's sitting pretty. Look at that! They're in bloom! The celestial flowers are in bloom! The blossoms seem different this year. Fate is already at work. Regardless of what we may try or believe. The gate to Che has been opened. You worthless mortals, no matter what you may do. No matter what you may try, there is no avoiding that which must come to pass. The world is in my hands. I am the blade of divine revenge. towards Mira. Wait! Here comes another one! Hey, isn't the Empire in that direction? Mira and the Empire. What's this all supposed to mean? Savina! Drop it! <sighs> Chuck one up for the good guys. Finally! And no Empire in sight. How refreshing. If we show this to Queen Corellia, it would convince her of the truth. I'm sure she'll agree to help us thwart Geldoblame's ambitions. But why didn't the Empire show up this time? Yeah, you'd think that Falong guy would be on our tail. The Empire won't give up that easily. You can count on it. Yeah. Yes. In fact, the hand of the Empire is here among us. What do you mean? Liud! I knew we couldn't trust you! Ah. Savina. I have reason to believe you are an Imperial soldier. Am I correct? What? No way! I'm sure of it. 
The style of her tactics convinced me. She's a soldier in the Imperial Army. A member of the elite special forces, I believe. Am I right, Savina? No, it can't be true. Tell us, Savina. Let's say I am. So what? You! You betrayed us! You only asked for my name. Not who I was. Huh? I... You... Want to take me on right here and now? What should we do? Right. Savina, you're not getting your Imperial hands on this end, Magnus. Not a chance. Back-to-back -back boss fights. Couple questions about Savina. How did she betray us? She didn't do anything. Number one. And number two, she's from the Empire, right? But she's got wings. Anyway, Savina has uh, 3,000 ish hit points. She is not strong or weak to any element, and we're fighting because we want her picture. This is different than a picture we could get at any other time. That is the only reason to take the picture. And now we can just go to town. It's not a particularly hard fight. Uh, if you took Savina to the boss fight, um, I believe one of the other party members just fills in. I don't remember if it's... Yeah, it, it would only be Gibari in this instance, so. But I don't think you have to fight her two on one. I think it's three on one. So as long as we don't, you know, cross the streams here and do like a, a dark and a light, we're not gonna have any big issues. She does have a single heal. Heals about 300-ish hit points, and she does have a five-hit combo. A five or a six-hit, I think. That ends with that burning arrow attack, so... Keep an eye out for a long combo. Like this one could be. Oh, not too bad. Three, four, five. I just think she has blocked every picture. I don't think that changes the picture. So, can't say for sure. Dark Dark gotcha. Didn't block that one, did you? <coughs> Pardon me. It's another long episode, folks. I apologize. I don't know what it's going to be when I've got the editing done. It's a long one. Anyway, not much of a fight, just heal when you need. This might be it. Yep, this is it. Could have been bad, but we did defend most of that, so... 
And I did mix wind and time there, you probably noticed. But since her attacks weren't doing wind or time, that didn't matter. There was a little bit of physical attached to each of those pieces of armor, so that's why I did it. Use that to get it out of here. Just, just block everything. How come you didn't have this much armor when you were in the party, huh? Shella. Get that mineral water out of here. Here. This will help. <laughs> but it didn't help at all. Shella. It's a great hand, Liud. You better hope she attacks you next. Here's her heal. Big heal, too, huh? Stop blocking everything, for Christ's sake. Yeah, well, there's all her healing used up. Again, how are you picking on Shella? She doesn't have any uh, armor, isn't it? I'll bet that's it. Dark 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 I just want to get all the darks out of the way. I can do fire and then finish it up with a light. Uh, let's heal Shala. Anybody else? I mean, you know. 66 and the six repeating percent of the party has tons of armor. You don't want to you don't want to target them though. Like that. That's all Callus has. Here. Nope. Say that should be putting us close. You're better than I thought. Enough sparring. I say we stop now. It's no use going on. The last thing we want is casualties.
At ease, all of you. I don't belong to the Empire. What? Then why did you fight us? You jumped to a conclusion and attacked me. I merely returned the favor. Um, well, you do have a point there, but... Come on, let's get out of here. I'm eager to know what the Queen thinks of this Magnus. Come on, Mayfi. Let's head back to the village. Okay, Savina. Sorry I made you worry. It's all right. Now you know better. A rare shot of Savina. Though not exactly friendly by default, Savina's been known to smile. A charming smile once in a great while. Considered a high-quality portrait, this picture should fetch a good price. Let's take that one. It's the only time you can get it, too, so don't miss it. Savina! Wait! Hey, I think we ought to trust her. She has an attitude, but she doesn't strike me as a liar. Yeah, I think we can trust her too. Wouldn't you say so, Lude? Hmm. If you all say so, then it's all right with me. Good. That's that. Let's get back to the city now. Hey, I wonder if Gildeblame actually left the island and went back to his empire. Hmm. I hope he isn't waiting for us back at the palace, armed to the teeth and ready to pounce. That freak is the last person I want pouncing on me. I wouldn't worry about it. They won't try anything drastic in front of the Queen. I agree. The Empire wouldn't want its relations with Anue Anue to sour. At least not yet. Enough chit chat. Let's go. Normally I'd say, hey, let's head on back, you know, finish our talking, Yoink. Uh, but I don't want to, want. oh, money, look at that, 35,000, um, I don't want to because uh, this video is approaching an hour 45, so. I'd rather save it for next time. Look, the tree on the map bloomed. Look at that. Fancy. <laughs>